Well, howdy from the Ozark Hills of Branson, Missouri. Hey, do you know what time it is? Well, it's Pie O'Clock at Sugar Pie Farmhouse. Yeehaw! In this video, I'm going to show you how I make my super easy, super delicious, all butter pie crust. This one right here. And I make it in my KitchenAid mixer. And it's easy as pie. Okay, so before we begin, you need to go put a cute little apron on because when you do that, it'll make you feel instantly domestic, I'm telling you. So this is one of my favorites. It is probably from the 1940s and I call it my vintage granny apron. And all the stories it could tell of cookies and pies and cakes and cobblers that granny made in her warm and cozy kitchen. <laughs> Now, you are rolling your eyes at me, right? <laughs> I know you are, but I don't know. I just like making things fun. I like um, getting inspired, and this kind of apron inspires me, especially when I'm making a pie. So let's make that pie crust right now. Okay, so the first thing I do is chop up my butter into nice, chunky pieces. Then the butter is going to go in the freezer to stay ice cold until the moment that I need it. That is the key to a nice flaky crust. Now I find if I butter my pie pan, the slices of pie come out so much easier. Okay, so it's time to measure out two and a half cups of flour. I love using my vintage measuring cup. I take the whisk and I just stir up the flour just a little bit to make it fluffy because sometimes the flour gets a little compacted and we don't want the flour to be too dense. Okay, so I'm going to be measuring two and a half cups of flour and it's going to go straight into my KitchenAid mixer. And then a second cup. And then my half cup of flour. Once again, I have my old tiny measuring cup. These really do add charm to your whole pie baking experience. Then I'm adding two tablespoons of sugar from Grandma's Sugar Bowl. And then just one pinch of salt. The reason why I just put a pinch in is because the butter is already salted and I use the salted butter because I always have it on hand and it makes a really delicious pie crust. Then you just mix everything up for about four or five minutes until it looks like cornmeal with little chunks of butter. And then we're going to add one half cup of ice cold water. Turn the mixer on and pour the water into the KitchenAid mixer bowl. And you're going to want to watch closely because it won't take long for the dough to come together. And when it does, then you want to stop the mixer and take out the dough because it's ready to roll. So now you're going to want to flour your surface and flour your rolling pin. That way nothing sticks and it'll roll wonderfully. Take the dough out and start to mash it down. And I kind of mash it into a rectangle to start with. I'm going to fold it over, sort of a trifold 
So there's three folds there and that is going to add to the flakiness of this pie crust. I'm going to cut the rectangle in half and then form two round discs. And this disc is going to go in the refrigerator until I'm ready to roll it out. So I put it in a plastic bag and I actually roll it right in the bag just so that it's ready to go and much easier to start rolling out when I take it out of the refrigerator. So this recipe is for two nine inch pie crusts. Okay, so I'm forming my disc again and I'm going to roll and just use quick little rolling movements back and forth. And I turn the dough and roll quickly back and forth and one more time. Now you'll see there's a crack for me. And so what I do is I just push it in because I don't want the crack to continue to grow. Now each time I roll the disc of dough, I turn it a quarter turn. And then I turn it again, roll and turn. I do this to make sure that the dough is not sticking to the surface. When you're rolling the dough, you want to make sure that you do not roll right off the edge because it will make the edge too thin. So the goal is to try to make the pie dough into the best circle that you can. And so what I'm doing here is I'm putting pressure on one side of the rolling pin and then the other side of the rolling pin to try to push it into a circle shape. And I kind of use sort of a starburst pattern while I'm rolling and that way it helps to balance out the shape of the dough into a circle. And then I take my pan and make sure that I have at least, oh, I'd like to say a couple inches, maybe even three inches around the pan. Two inches would be fine too. And then I just cut off the rough edge just because it makes it easier for me to crimp the pie dough once it's in the pan. So now I'm folding the pie dough in half towards me and I fan my hand underneath the pie dough to help me lift it up and I put it into the pie pan about the halfway point. And then this is really important. You want to lift or sort of ease the dough into the pan. You never want to stretch the dough because it will shrink. So you just kind of want to ease it in and pat it all around. Then you want to fold under the extra dough there all the way around and this is what's going to allow you to have enough dough to crimp it in a really pretty pattern. And so I go around, I just make sure it's all tucked in and then I take my knuckle and my two fingers and I push the knuckle into the dough and then my other two fingers are pushing the opposite direction. Now my knuckle started to stick a little bit so I just put my knuckle in some flour and kept going. And there you go, a really pretty ruffled edge to my pie crust. Now I just pat it in to make sure that the dough is not overhanging the pie pan. Well, I sure hope that you give this pie crust a try. It really is super easy and delicious. Now I have a few pie tips for you, pie crust tips that is. Um, first one is make sure that butter is ice cold and that your water is ice cold because those are the secrets to creating that flaky, delicious pie crust. Now with an all butter pie crust, it's really important to chill your pie crust very well before you bake your pie because the butter will melt very quickly and if your dough is already soft, it's just not gonna hold its shape. So what I do 
is I always use a metal pie pan when I'm doing an all butter pie crust and I freeze it just like this in the pan, crimped, ready to go. And then when it's pie making day or you need to make that dessert, you've got your crust all ready to go. And you fill it while it's frozen and you put it straight into the oven. So you don't need to thaw it. In fact, you don't want to thaw it. You want to have it nice and firm when you put it in the oven. I have a link below for my favorite pie pan. Now, another thing that I mentioned in the video is that I love using vintage measuring spoons and measuring cups. Now, you can find these at your local flea market usually or antique mall and they don't cost that much. Um, but, fortunately, if you don't want to go to a flea market or an antique mall, although I don't really know why you wouldn't want to, um, you can find these online. So I have a link below for these old fashioned, very inexpensive measuring spoons and a little tin measuring cup. So this just enhances that pie baking experience because everything in life that we do, we should try to do it in a way that it's enjoyable and fun and it just will bless your heart. And when it blesses your heart, it's going to bless others' hearts too. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? Well, now I have some more pie videos on the way, so stay tuned. And as I always like to say, God bless your darling heart, and you'll come back now, you hear?